Hey guys, welcome back to Spawn Gaming and an Interrogation Files video. It's been a minute since I've done one of these because I've actually not been running CLU as much as I used to. It's just been so busy with everything else, with trying to keep up with getting content that I've not really had the time to sit down and just play and run in CIU. Um, okay, so right now we have uh, Officer 278 Ollie in the back with us, and we also have a chap called Billy Joe. Billy Joe capped a man tonight, and we're going to have a little chat with him because he's playing silly buggers with his name and identity, and uh, we have his uh, DNA at the scene. So. We're going to whop him down to the interrogation room and have a good old-fashioned CIU chat with him. It's been a while, and uh, I'm a little rusty, if I'm honest. But we'll see what we can do with old buddy buddy boy here. You comfortable back there, huh? Also, yes, it's Perez's first you interview. To? You, huh? Uh, yeah, I'm very comfortable. I'm good. I don't want to last. The chairs in the interrogation room are terrible. I'm used Let's to the get him out. cages. I'll quick grab my uh, rifle from your trunk. Uh huh. I'm holding on to you, stay there. Okay. Okay, walk ahead of me into the station. Let's go. This is a nice place. Uh huh. You're going to get very acquainted with it in the near future, okay? Uh, lovely. Inside, straight to the end, take a right. Double doors. <sighs> I'll be down in a minute, just gonna check okay. this in the locker room. We'll be in interrogation one. Let's go. Damn it. Let's go. Come on. Where are we going? Down here. Okay, take a right, then a left through the double doors. See, I'm not used to a police station. No, always, um, no. With your record, not I'm at all. all. I'm, always, I'm, always, I'm always a good boy. Keep going. So, yeah. Keep going. Okay, in here. Okay, take a seat. Go on, make yourself comfortable. Okay, there for the go. benefit of the tape, uh, Detective Valentina Perez, interview time is 2120-2608-2020. Subject is Billy Joe. You have the right to remain silent, Mr. Joe. Anything you do say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney, and if you cannot afford one, one will be provided for you. Do you want to send the rest of them to you? Uh, yeah, that's the third time. With those rights in mind, do you wish to speak to me, to me today? Um, yeah, why not? Okay, so I have to read your rights this time because I am doing it for the benefit of the tape recorder that is recording this interview, okay? All right, so, Mr. Joe, okay. you stated earlier to me your name was Joseph Joe, yeah? Yeah, that's okay. my name. Um, so, why do your fingerprints come back to your supposed brother, Billy? Um, because just before he left, I shook his hand. Okay. So, and you know, it might have transferred over. Uh huh. You transferred your fingerprints. Okay. So I'm yeah. gonna put it to you that you are in fact Billy Joe. You don't have a brother, huh? Um, I do have a brother. His name's Joseph Joe. Okay. So the weird part here is you said you actually met the victim tonight, Clinton Avenue, five seven four. A man called. Uh, where was it? Yeah, it was the Charlie Sharp. Yeah, I called, yes? the, um, I, I called the emergency service. So you're telling me that you were at the scene of the crime. Yep. And we have your DNA and your fingerprints on the murder weapon. So what part of this is... Oh, that's just my... Go on. That's, that's just my protective gun that I carry around all, all the uh -huh. time. That protective gun that shot the victim? Uh, he tried to run me over. 
So I always self defense. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. So do you have any proof of that? Other than your word? Um. Uh, I don't know how I would have proof. Proof. Well, you're trying to tell me now that it finally you're actually admitting it was you, and thus that you are Billy Joe. Um. But you're trying to tell me it's self defense. Why? Why would he try yeah. to run you over? I'm not sure. How many times well, before here do you met uh, Mr. Sharp? Um, probably about five times. Okay, so you were acquainted with the victim. Um, why yeah. would somebody you knew try to run you over? Um, because I uh, scammed him. Okay, you scammed him. What? What took place? Huh? What happened? Um, so he was what he wanted. To, he wanted to buy cocaine off me, and for an I this guy's I a champ. Gave him sugar instead, and just did okay. it like real cocaine. Okay. And uh, when was this? Directly before the incident, or? Um, probably last week. Okay. So he came to find you, or you went to find him tonight? Um, I think he came to find me. Okay. Because I did nothing wrong. Um, he came to find you. So why were you in that area? You you said you were at the twenty four seven. Yes. Yeah, I went to go and get some food. I was quite hungry. Okay, so take me through the timeline after leaving the twenty four seven. Uh, left the twenty four seven. The guy um came in his blue salt and probably going like really quick. Uh, he was heading right for me, breaking all the road laws, going all over the place. And so I pulled out my gun and uh, shot him, I don't know how many times, but I don't know how many hit. But then the car hit the wall, and then he just fell out and I fled from the scene. Okay. So you shot at him from the front as he was approaching you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how many rounds did you fire? I don't know. I just, I just kept firing. And you were in front of the car. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so, gonna uncuff you briefly. I need to send something off. Okay. Actually, no, not gonna work. I was going to send his jacket for GSR testing, but it of course come back positive. It wouldn't prove he was in the car. But I have one last thing. Okay, so, Mr. Joe, I need to ask you something, and I'm looking for the truth here because I'm a fair person. Okay, I understand, and I know you didn't intend for this to happen, but the car that Mr. Sharp was driving tonight was stolen. Yes. I don't know. Why did you steal the car with him? I don't know. I didn't steal the car with him. I met him there. Okay, so how else do you explain your presence in the stolen vehicle? Uh, um, that's a good question. The bullet casings were found inside the car, not outside. There were some outside, but you fired the gun to shoot him, but somehow yeah. you were inside the car at the time. Uh, no, but like I, sh I shot out the wit, I shot at the window. So I don't know the bullet may okay, have. Okay, like, you shot at the window, the car, and I fell on. Like, but no, I was at on first the you said, oh, okay, at first you said you were shooting at him from the front as he drove towards you. So somehow they, yeah, that's are you telling me the bullet casings bounced off a wall, bounced off a cat, bounced off a lamppost, and bounced in through the open window of the car to land in the footwell? Yes. Um. No, they could have stopped in the car. I don't know, they hit something in the car that made them stop. Bullet casings being inside the car typically mean the gun was fired from within the vehicle. Okay? Yeah. Look, I can go down to the CSU lab and I can have them swab the interior of the vehicle for GSR, okay? That is gunshot residue. That's going to tell me if a weapon was discharged inside or outside the vehicle. So rather than me having to go waste people's time, make people work late this evening... You can do me a favor, because I can find out the hard way if you make me. Were you inside okay. or I'll outside the car when you fired the gun? I'll 
I'll do you a favour. I was inside the car. Thought so. So what you're telling me is then you were not fearing for your safety because he was trying to run you over. You were in the vehicle with him. I was in the vehicle with him. Okay. Why were you and in the vehicle with him? him? Because we were having some fun. We went to the nightclub and all that. And why did you shoot him? Um, because I don't. Um, because of what I said, the uh, I sc he, um, I scammed him. Okay. And what did he bring the topic up? Was it something he said? Hey, you scammed me last week. Yeah. I'm not too happy. Or yeah, was it a case like, of? He was getting really like edgy about it. Like I was scared. So he was happy enough to socialize with you after you scammed him the week before, but all of a sudden he turned angry and you shot him. Um. Yeah. I blasted him like a couple of times in the stomach. Okay, so I'll enter here. Interview terminated at twenty one twenty eight. Okay, come that with me, Mister Jack. Yes, it was. I'll be good. Okay, I'll take you through to a holding cell now, and we'll get you processed and out of here in no time. Yeah, that way. <sighs> so I'm assuming you were aware the car was stolen, yes? Uh, I did it. Oh, you did it? Okay. That's cool. You're still under randomization. Okay. This should take no time at all. Fun. I already have his name, so I'm just going to run the date, the ID, so it'll be faster. Okay, S92709. Do we need to go to here? Here. Uh, SO92709. Uh, 2647. Boom, Billy Joel. Uh, Joe, if I want to say Billy Joel. No, it's Billy Joe. Okay, and issue citation or arrest. So I can't really say an argument is grounds for defense. So. Second of your murder? Grand Theft Auto seems he just confessed to stealing the car. Object confessed to killing one Charlie Sharp during an argument in a. The vehicle he confessed to stealing. Okay, Mr. Joe. Today you've been charged with second degree homicide and grand theft auto. You're going to be serving 450 days in Bolingbrook Penitentiary, and I'll be forwarding you on to their custody at this time. Do you have any questions? Um, no. Okay, pleasure doing business with you. Have a good evening, and rest of your next 5 to 10. You too. Okay. <laughs> ah, there we go. It feels good to be back in interrogation files. And that was actually a pretty fun one. I actually had to work around him there based on the evidence I had at the scene because I remembered halfway through that. Well, hang on. Side and front windows don't really matter because, yeah, I saw the driver's side window blown out. But we found casings in the car and blood, which means he was in the car when he was shot. And the casings in the car indicate the shooter was in the car. So he wasn't self-defense at that point. It didn't matter if you wanted to claim that because there's no way you can claim self-defense whilst you're in the vehicle with the victim. Bing bang bosh, we have a case. And Valentina Perez's first, well, proper, first proper real foray into the interrogation files, but second real interview. Hopefully you enjoyed that one, guys. And this is on my new microphone now, so hey, thanks for watching. Bye.